morning. Good morning. It is Sunday morning, March 4th, I think. It's March 4th. Right? March 4th. <coughs> Good morning, California. Yeah. We're on our way home from Monterey, uh, California. And if you saw last week's vlog, you know. Slow down. Oh, 69. Yeah. 61. You're speeding. I'm speeding. It's 61. <laughs> Shh. Don't tell anybody. Um, anyway, we were in Monterey, California last night for a work event for my husband's work. If you saw last week's vlog, you've seen the footage of that. Um, he works for Lamb Research in um, Fremont, California. And this is all I know about what they do. They make capital semiconductor equipment. I know that makes that's me it? sound smart, but I'm not that smart. That's <laughs> exactly what we make. Yeah, that's what they make. They make the big machines that make the wafers, that make the little tiny chips that go in everything. Tiny little chips. And they have big clients like Mitsubishi and Intel, Intel Samsung, and Samsung, yeah. Global so foundries. Yeah. So anyway, you can thank them for Toshiba. all of your smartphones and appliances, and because they make the chips for those. Um, anyway. Anyway, so we were at a work event for them. So we're driving home. It's Sunday morning, and we have, uh, a, a, unfortunately, a memorial to go to at lunchtime today. So we're trying to get home so we can get change for that. Drinking my giant 20 ounce cup of Starbucks coffee. I did not know they make Starbucks coffee this big. And I thought it was really funny at the hotel that um, they had a Starbucks little barista person there. And she handed me the cup and said, the self-serve drip is around the corner. I said, okay. So the coffee cups, the uh, coffee sleeve, the coffee sugar, the little picks to block the hole. Everything is Starbucks, but the coffee in the pots is Pete's. <laughs> the Crafts and Pete's. The Crafts and Pete's. All the Crafts and Pete's. I don't know. It's funny. That's weird. It struck me as odd this morning. So anyway, I'm going to so finish. What coffee are you drinking? Are you drinking Starbucks or, or Pete's? Pete's? I know, right? I don't know. Yeah. So higher Regency in Monterey. What am I drinking? Starbucks or Pete's? It was a nice place. It's a good question. Anyway, it's a great, a nice hotel. I really liked it. Really pretty views, nice room, friendly service. I'd recommend it if you're headed to Monterey and you need a place to stay. Um, okay, so we are going to head home. If I see any interesting footage of the California countryside, because we have to drive through part of farm country to get home, um, I will take some footage for you. We'll be back. Hi guys, it's Monday morning, March 5th, and I literally spent, it's not even morning, I take that back, it's almost 1 o'clock, it's a quarter to 1, 15 minutes to 1. I spent the entire morning editing last week's vlog. It's a little longer than normal, if you're watching this one, you've probably already seen that one, I don't know, maybe you skipped over it because of how long it was. There's some fun stuff in there. There's a uh, family, on family dinner and game night, we did a strange um, chip taste testing, um, um, and strange diff to us as strange as indifferent. And, um, cause you know, I left my husband alone in the Asian food, uh, in the snack food aisle at Daiso, the Asian dollar store. I'm just not able to talk this morning. Um, so of course he picked four little bags of some chip like things that weren't in English. So we had no idea what they were other than the pictures and the little teeny tiny translation label, if you can read it. Yeah, one of them was sardine flavored. That's all I'll say. Go watch the video if you haven't already. <laughs> um, there, we also went to a big work party for his work and we spent the weekend down in Monterey, California. So there's a bunch of footage at the end of the video of that. We had a lot of fun, including the Elvis fortune telling machine. That was fun. So anyway, um, I just, it took all morning to edit that and to get it down from something that was like two hours long to something that was like, sort of reasonable. It's like 47 minutes, I think, or something. Sorry, that was as short as I could get it, I swear. Um, just play me in the background while you're doing something else. <laughs> so anyway, I got that done. It is saving and rendering right now, and I'll get it loaded to YouTube sometime today. I'm gonna go get the mail and then eat some lunch. 
That's my routine lately it seems to be eating lunch really late in the day. It's not a good thing. I did get some laundry done in between video editing and um, all of that stuff. Um, I haven't gotten a lot else done yet. Oh, I did dishes. Um, but I've got some mending to do, so I've got to bust out the sewing machine. Lily ate a hole in her bunny rabbit toy again, so I need to edit that. I also need to end it, edit, um, to, I need to edit that again. I need to mend that again, and I need to mend a pillow sham for my bed. So I've got to do that yet today, but I need to eat something first and get the mail. So I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Tuesday afternoon, March, March 6th, maybe. I spent the morning chatting with my friends, the Zoomers. They're over there on the computer. Where is it? Over there. See them? You can see Maridel Abrams right now. And I've been playing with resin, so I watched Shannon Green's video. If you haven't seen it yet, I'm going to link it in the description where she's playing with resin and pouring resin and making journal covers with it, but also covering her custom keepers with it. So no idea if this is going to work or not. Shannon promised me that she'd help me if it didn't, so I'm going to take her up on that. But I just wanted to do something that was sort of galaxy inspired, so we'll see if it works out. If it does, there'll be a video on it. and we'll, Even if it doesn't, I'm going to make a video and tell you what went wrong and what didn't. And yeah, I had some extra resin left over, which is up on the shelf drying, which I can't, I'm not going to disturb it, but I poured it out on a Teflon sheet, put some ink in it and... We'll see what happens. I don't know if it's going to work or not. It's going to take like at least a day before I know anything. So sometime tomorrow I will let you know and I will show it here in the vlog. I don't know if it's going to work. We'll see. That's it, I think, right now. I need to go to the grocery store, which, yeah, not thrilled about. But we need something to eat for dinner and I have no lunch food, so it's all gone. All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. <sighs> it's Wednesday, March 7th. It is 10, 12 p.m. P.m., you heard me correctly. And this is my first check-in of the day. I spent the entire day editing video and <laughs> and I was I was gonna start my day out by doing my daily writing and my daily posting which I did and editing some video and then sending out an email newsletter which all happened but then I went to go get my website ready to update so on the 10th I could just go over there and hit publish and I had problems with the website there were pages with links that were missing images whole pages of images that were missing not by me um, and according to Yahoo, who is the host for my website, um, it couldn't have been done by anybody else. Well, obviously it was because I didn't do it. And um, yeah, so then I tried to get them to help me and they published my pages I did not want published early without asking me. And so then I had to go back in and fix the original problems, which they never did help me fix. I ended up hanging up with them because I was just, I was done. Um, and I fixed the original problems. And then I went in and had to make the pages that they published without asking me work because um, they were published early. So hopefully everything is um, clear and people don't get too upset but anyway uh, it took me until from about 1 30 till like six o'clock to get it fixed yeah I know right I just got done having um, well I had dinner earlier obviously it's late but I just got done doing a bunch of drawing on the sofa and hanging out with the husband and I did um, um, the video I edited today is my custom keeper, the resin one that I was working on, and the, um, don't mean to make you dizzy, sorry, and this extra piece, which I'm going to hold, I have a, it's sitting on a piece of canvas here, so hang on, let's see, I can't pick it up, mm -hmm. so it looks like this, can you see that? 
it's the coolest thing. I don't really want to cut it up for a journal cover. I actually think I might put it on the canvas. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. That's why it's sitting here on the canvas. Um, it's really cool. So anyway, it's very late in the evening. I'm going to get ready uh, to go to bed and watch a little TV, maybe YouTube or something before I get sleepy. The whole day just flew by. It's one of those days. Anyway, I like Yahoo's website builder. It's a really easy uh, tool to use, but when you do have a question or an issue, um, their customer service people don't always know what they're talking about. So that's a problem. Yeah, so Yahoo, if you're listening, you've asked me for some favors. And I don't know, I'm thinking about it now. I don't know. You need to. You need to have a way for me to back up my website. You need to have a way, me and others, you need to have a way for us to add store pages easily. And um, that w those two things would have solved a bunch of problems today. Just the backup thing. If I'd had a backup, I could have reloaded the backup without rebuilding pages. And I wouldn't have even had to talk to anybody. But when your customers tell you that there's a problem and that they didn't do it and it's not their system and they're not, it's not their computer, you maybe ought to try believing them because they may be telling the truth. Just saying. All right, that's it for today. I'll be back. glasses are dirty. So if you're watching this, you've seen the crazy footage of me dancing around the office, trying not to show you my pajamas and only film from here up because I, yeah, was still in my nightgown, but I had Pandora on and yesterday was a bit stressful, as I already said in yesterday's clip. And I woke up this morning not remembering what I needed to do today very clearly and also redoing some notes on my desk because again they got to the point where they didn't make sense to anybody the problem was I abbreviated some things I have no idea what those abbreviations mean yeah I don't have any I'll, I'm gonna insert the link here and I think it's like a fun game for everybody like to guess what I was I don't because I have no idea so you all guess I'll insert the picture here um so I was dancing around the, the to in my office to Hallelujah by Celtic Thunder um fun fact it is um, one of my favorite songs and I like all kinds of music um, I'm not anymore a practicing Catholic but that being said some things are just ingrained in you right from childhood and I church hymns and chanting monks are the kinds of things I listen to when I am stressed out uh, my two favorite church hymns are Hallelujah and Amazing Grace. And I do have a lot of um, chanting monks in my Pandora playlist and also on my iPod. Yes, I do still have an iPod. An old-fashioned one. Again, I'll start a picture here somewhere. Um, I think it's... I think it's version 2. Um, it's really old. Anyway, um, so... And I was stressed out this morning because of the whole Yahoo thing yesterday. So anyway... Um, so I was dancing around to that. I do like all kinds of music though when I am in a happy place and in my art room and um, painting and creating. Um, I do sometimes have the church music on or chanting monks. Um, I also like things like Aerosmith and Pink and the Andrew Sisters and anything Glenn Miller. And that's what I mean, I'm all over the place. When I'm driving, I listen to mostly classical music because I get stressed out from driving. <laughs> and here in Santa Clara County, um, we have KDFC, which is a classical music station. And um, yeah, I usually have that on when I'm driving um, to help keep me calm. So fun fact about me, I also really love to read romance novels, the trashier the better. And no, I have not read that series 
what it, the heck is it called? It was made into a movie. His last name is Gray. I can't think of it this morning, see, because I'm stressed. My memory is for crap today, so you're gonna probably hear a lot of me saying I can't remember because that's what happens when I'm stressed out and you have anxiety disorder. you like, you can't remember diddly squat. <sighs> Add menopause brain in there and it doesn't help, it's even worse. Um, <clears throat> I'm also a little bit stuffy and <clears throat> scraggly. This morning, <clears throat> I'm hoping it's just my asthma acting up and it's not that I'm getting sick because yeah, that would suck. And I'm headed out right now to go run some errands. I think I remember what I need at tar Target before I forget again. Holy cow. I need to run an errand for the husband. I'm going to stop at Michael's. I want to take a look at a couple of new products that are out. I don't know if they're at Michael's yet or not, but I keep hearing about them. I don't really need them. We'll see if I manage to just look at them and not buy them because I don't really need them. We'll see what happens. Uh, I'm going to go to the Michaels I used to work at. without buying anything. They did have the new Martha Stewart gel watercolors, which I still don't understand. I don't understand why we need them on the market, but I heard Folk Arts coming out with the same thing. I didn't see them on the shelf, but anyway, I was just curious, but I don't need anything. The yarn tempted me, but yeah. So we're going to go get some more steps in walking around Target here. I actually need something so I won't get out without buying anything. I need to get some protein bars and I um, want a couple more of those lemon tea towels. I love the fabric and I think I want to make another appliance cover. I made a toaster cover recently. I think I shared here on the vlog. Um, I didn't do the making of it on camera, but if you all want to see a tutorial, I suppose I could do one. Um, Anyway, I want to make an, uh, a cover for my KitchenAid mixer, so I want to use this tea towel fabric because it's really cute. I'll try to get some filming done. I'll be back. Okay, got about 3,000 steps in so far. Just going to those two stores, so that's good. Um, we are going to go now run our last couple errands. My husband is a Freemason, which I've, I mentioned before, and this weekend they are doing a pancake breakfast and child ID event at a local elementary school, I think it's elementary school, um, where they spend time for free um, making IDs with fingerprints of children for their parents. It doesn't go in a database anymore, it's for the parents. In case, God forbid, something happens to their child, they have a picture and fingerprints to give the police. Um, and there's uh, recommendations on the back of the form for um, other things you might need in case of a horrible event like that. So they do this um, fingerprinting and stuff for free for the parents at the school. And they also do a pancake breakfast which is a fundraiser for the school. And they have a scholarship event. It's all part of the same thing. So um, 
It's one of their good charitable things that they do for the community. And uh, they're doing that on Saturday. And I need to go make copies of the paperwork involved in the child ID part of it and get ink for the printer because my husband is a past master and most of the guys know, oh, let's ask Gina, she'll go do it. So, yeah. So we're gonna go to Staples and take care of that. I made my husband make me a list of what exactly he needed because we can't get it Saturday before the event because the event starts at like seven o'clock in the morning or something outrageous. So I'm gonna do it today. And probably gonna park near to Staples and then walk over to Postal Annex to get more steps in. We got the stuff we needed at Staples. I did walk to and from the Postal Annex store where I get my mail delivered. I don't even think they've gotten their delivery yet for today. There was nothing in my box. I may go back later this afternoon or I may just leave it until tomorrow. We'll see what mood I'm in later. Hi guys, it is Friday. March, March. Tomorrow's the 10th, I'm pretty sure, so that makes today the 9th. Pretty sure. I haven't looked at the calendar. It's been a busy, crazy morning. It's already almost two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> it's just, I'm not sure where the time went. Um, I spent the morning <sighs> answering more bank questions and trying to get on the treadmill, which I did. And also filling Etsy orders. Holy cow. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go trug these all over to the uh, P.O. box and go drop them off so they can ship today. And tonight we are celebrating um, our friend Worshipful Dad's uh, 50 years in Freemasonry. And if I can get any images or video footage of the Masonic Center, I will, without violating anybody's privacy. Um, that's it for right now. I can't think of much else because my brain is just overloaded at the moment. <laughs> I probably need to do some art or sketching or something because I haven't done that in a good 24 hours. It's been a little longer, I think. I didn't do any yesterday. It's not good for me. All right, I'll be back. Okay, if I complain later that my shoulders are hurting, somebody remind me it's because I took those three big boxes into uh, the postal store, uh, annex store to ship them. Thank you, Kim Marie, for buying all three of the mystery boxes from my Etsy shop. And if there's any issues or concerns, please let me know. They are all, they all have a lot of tape on them. They're all seven pounds each. I should have probably said that in the listing, but they're seven pounds each. Um, if you saw the vlog, which was a couple weeks ago now, not last week's vlog, but the week before that. Uh, I show part. I show packing the boxes. A little bit. They were full of ephemera and some small pieces of artwork. A bunch of punches. I didn't want any more for my stash. They all work fine. I just wasn't using them. And three old creative. Well, each one had one old creative memories punch storage bag. Does anybody remember those black bags, zipper bags? to store your punches. Anyway, I had three of them, and so I filled them with punches I didn't want anymore from my stash, and then put one in each box. So Kim Marie bought all three boxes, people. So Kim Marie, you message me on Facebook, because we're friends on Facebook if there's any issues or anything. But all three boxes should be coming priority mail. They're leaving today, the 9th. Pretty sure it's the 9th. I said that already. I'm not exactly positive, but pretty sure. Um, you should get them by... You know, it takes three to five days, or two to three, two to five, I don't know, anyway. 
You should get them early next week, one at a time. But if your postal postal person complains that they were heavy, yeah, they were heavy.
Hey guys, it is Saturday, March 10th, and I only know that because my design team's videos went live today, which is the 10th. They go live on the 10th. <laughs> um, anyway, if you haven't seen any of their videos, what my team has done with my products, I'm going to include all their links in the description below. Go check them out. They've all done a really great job this month, as they always do. And I've been painting. Do you see the painting behind me? You probably, if you're watching this, you've seen the footage. I'm really only going to film uh, bits and pieces of working on this canvas here on the vlog. Uh, so stay tuned if you want to see more of that. It's a commission for a friend. And um, yeah, it's a work in progress. That's just like layer two of like, I don't know how many. So it'll be a few weeks before it's finished or at least one more week, maybe two. We'll see. It depends on how much time I have to sit and work on it. So anyway, I have um, a meeting at noon and hopefully my husband will be home for that. And then we have errands to run. We've got to go to Costco and get dog food. Um, and I've got laundry to do. Crap, I just remembered that. Shoot. And Shinola. <clears throat> Alright, so I've got to do that too. Uh, nuts. I think that's all. Anyway. Um, I can't think of anything else at the moment. I'll include a few images, if I can, of last night's Masonic event. My, um husband's friend um, and our our friend I should say uh, we call him worshipful dad as I, I actually stated already um, had his 50 year pin celebration last night so we did that this morning my husband's at another Masonic event which is a um, college it's called adopt a college so it's in a college encouragement program at a local elementary school in a um, a needy neighborhood and to encourage kids in, the, in that neighborhood to better themselves and to go to college and so they're having a fundraiser this morning a pancake breakfast they do free child ID um, where they uh, fingerprint the kids for the parents they don't keep them in a database we've been asked that before no uh, and um, encourage parents to keep a file you know God forbid something should happen then they have a way um, to you know aid the police uh, you know, it, you never know these days. So anyway, they do a child ID program. They do uh, pancake breakfast. There's face painting and everything. So it's a whole whole big fundraiser thing. And um, the Masons do it free of charge. And all the money goes to the program. And uh, yeah, so he's doing that this morning. I'm hoping he's home by noon because our meeting's at noon. So we'll find out. And I'm going to go, I guess, do laundry. I'll be back. So the husband is back from his adopt a college thing this morning. Pancake breakfast. Pancake breakfast. Fundraiser for the adopt a college program at Edenvale Elementary School. Here in San Jose to encourage the kids in the needier neighborhoods to go to college. Go to college. Get an education. Yeah. So he's done with that. So we're headed out to Costco. Costco. And um, we need to eat snacks while we're there. Eat snacks while we're there. Yes, yeah, yeah. get a hundred hundred calorie snacks. Yeah, we're, and then we got to go to the um, postal annex. Yeah, we got to go drop off some Etsy orders and pick up our mail. And yeah, the dog needs yep. food, so we have to go to Costco today, even though it's kind of a rainy, icky day. Got to get food. Yeah. All right, that's it. We'll be back. It is kind of funny that we're so busy eating the snacks at Costco, we almost forgot what we came in here for. Oops. Hey guys, it is late. It is Saturday night. It's like 1030 at night. I spent the rest of the afternoon after our meeting 
running errands with the husband as you saw we went to Costco and all that stuff and honestly just chilling at home I chatted with some of my friends online including my friend Shannon Green she's having a big sale over in her Etsy shop if it's still going on I'll link um, her shop and the sale in the description I'll put details in the description um, if there's no details down there it's because the sales over um, but I will link it if it's available um, she does make the custom keeper um, which is made out of repurposed billboard vinyl it's like a traveler's notebook style notebook cover really cool so anyway and here's the painting we started on today it's nowhere near done but it's a really good start I'm really liking the way it's looking so hopefully the person that I'm painting it for the customer does too so let's see cross your fingers uh, I do have another big canvas if they hate it I can paint something else we'll see but that's it I think for the week I think I need to go to bed now um, I don't know what we have planned for tomorrow I think I'm gonna just try to get some art done and get on the treadmill and yeah that sort of thing I hope you've all had a great week an interesting one and that you've had fun that you've made some uh, great art You've done some fun experimenting, and uh, yeah, be good to each other. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.